Say Bear 1000 here. Today <coughs> we're going to be putting this converter. Here's the converter. This is the box that came in. The four flat converter kit. And we're going to be putting it on this 2003 Toyota Tacoma. So let's get started on it. Okay guys, now the reason why we have to have a converter on this particular truck, if you have, uh, not just this, many, many other trucks, if you have a truck or a car that has the tail lights, the tail lights are different from the turn signals, here's the turn signals and here's the tail lights, you will need a converter box. If you have something like this, you will not you can just wire into your harness now this does wire into the harness but it also has a power wire I do believe this one is powered yes see the red wire that's your power wire now since we've already got one on here that went bad I can just hook in to where this one is and I'll, sh I'll show you what I'm doing with that here in a little bit but the reason why we gotta have that is because it's on its own circuit if you try to hook it up like you would on that Ford um, the problem would be is when you turn on a turn signal everything would both sides would flash so that's why you have to have a converter box if you have a any vehicle that, that has the turn signal separate from the tail light you know you're gonna you're gonna have to have one of these boxes now I got this one for $18 through partsgeek.com and um, if you guys have ever bought these or looked up prices, they're anywhere from fifty to hundred dollars. So I got this one for eighteen. I paid a couple dollars extra for a warranty, so I got it for like twenty-one bucks or something like that. So, oh yeah, there you are. So let's get up under here. I'm gonna get something to lay on. We're gonna get up under here. We're gonna get the old one out, and we're gonna put the new one in. Okay, guys. So this. This is what we're looking at here. All right, that's the old one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut these wire ties. I gotta hold the camera because it's too heavy for this tiny tripod. And I drive my doll cutters, great. There's the old one. This is the ground wire. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clip it. All right. Now, one of these, this one here, this red one, is a power wire. And we got green wires coming over they go to the other side or well for the other side so let's take this ground wire out of here for now now what I'm gonna do I know the power wire is good so I'm gonna hook into the power wire here right there green wire I don't know why there's two of them I gotta figure out why there is two let's just cut them both should only be one green wire and that's it right here's the green wire so we're gonna cut this right here and this is brown wire Okay, so that's all there is to that. Now let's take this off of here. Get this clear out of the way. Now I don't know why that green wire is hooked up to this right here. I 
and this brown wire is into the green wire. So all you got to do, okay, is you got to find your left, right, and your tail lights. So I need to, I got my test light out here. So I need to find out why they had that why they had that like that. Alright. Let me make sure we got stuff working because I don't think I'm gonna need this one. Well, I don't know why it's over here on the other side, but okay, let me check my lights and make sure everything's working back here. Which it should be because the taillights on the truck are working, but I got to find out which ones are which just to make sure because somebody's got this all cobbled up. So hang tight. Okay, guys, I found out which wires go where or which wires are for what. But now on these things, like here's the old one. It's an old Kurt. Let me show you the old, whoa, the old one first. Right here, it'll tell you which wire is what. Shit. And this red wire is not the power on this one. Some of them you have to run a power wire to to the battery. This one you don't have to, fortunately. This one, if it'll focus, the red light is for the brake light, okay? So, and, and it'll tell you on here, like there's your right turn, there's your brake light. I know you can't see it. I don't know why this thing's not focusing. Uh, right turn, brake light, left turn, tail light marker light and there the white's your ground and over here it tells you the same thing right turn left turn tail light and ground okay and that's this side is the one that goes to your pigtail okay so what i'm going to do i don't know how i'm going to do this and show you what i'm going to have to do is i'm going to have to show you now your ground You just put a ground in there, but I've already got a ground here, grounded really good up to the frame. So I'm just going to hook into that ground. And the reason why your green one is so long is because it goes over to your left, or I mean your right turn signal. So it's it's long because it goes clear over there. We're not going to need all that because we're going to hook in everything right up into here. Okay, so here's my brake lights. This is my ground, okay, brake light, ground, this is uh, tail lights, um, okay, do this again, brake light, ground, tail lights, there's the, uh, the right turn signal, the left turn signal okay so i'm going to get these hooked up and i'll show you how i do that i'm just going to use these scotch locks i got right up here these are called scotch locks and i'm just going to use them and i'm going to go ahead and tape them up i haven't had any issues with them but i'm going to go ahead and tape them up anyway so let me get this all hooked up and i'll show you what i did okay guys so this is what we're looking at this is our brake light this is our Let's see, where's the yellow? Left turn. This is our tail light. This is our ground. And this is our right turn. Now this is all gonna be put up in here. Okay. All nice and neat looking. And, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna check these. If I can get Monkey to give me a hand here. So it'll be a little bit quicker. So what we're going to do is to check the ground. Well, we're going to just clip right onto the ground, just like that. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to see if Monkey will come over and give me a hand. Hang, on, hang tight. All right, guys. I got Monkey in the truck. Now I'm going to have her put your foot on the brake. Okay. Now. The green and yellow should beep. Okay. This also lights up. And that, that's our brake. 
Okay, let's foot off the brake. All right, now give me a left turn signal. What should be yellow? Okay, now give me a right turn signal. All right. Now go ahead and shut that off and um, turn the lights on. lights so we got it working so now all i gotta do is wire tie this up here thank you and see this is weatherproof double mold design now listen guys that's weatherproof it's not waterproof so if you get this hanging and you're backing your truck or car or whatever into the water water can seep into this this is weatherproof because it's up under here that means you know condensation is not going to get into it and the sun's not going to hurt it but if you back this thing underwater, this is not waterproof. These are not are never waterproof. So make sure they're up high and up out of the way. Okay, but they are weatherproof. So like if it gets a little snow on it, you're okay, you know, but uh never never submerge it because it's not gonna work if you submerge it. Now I'm gonna tape these wires up real good and I'm gonna wire tie them up, wire tie this up in here, and I'm gonna bring the pigtail down probably right through here the way i had it and i'll be back with you let me get that stuff taped up okay guys we got it all zip tied up there you can cut these if you want and make them shorter but remember each each time you have a connection that's a potential uh malfunction later for corrosion whatnot now i've got two See that thing right over there? There's one of these here. I've got two holding the box on, then I've got two coming around. I've got one holding the wires together, then I've got two coming around the box and that little piece there and holding the wires. This is just how I do my wires right here. That's just the, uh, that's just the cover. And I can't, I'm trying to do it one-handed, but you get it, right? I mean, here. See? And then I'll plug it in the boat, and then when I'm done, I'll put that back up through and put my cover back on, and it just stays right there, out of the way, watertight, you know. Um, also, they do make a thing for these that you can, like, mount onto your bumper or wherever, and it mounts this and then you just plug the trailer lights into it those are nice but i just go ahead and do this that way if i need a little more i i got a little more if i change trailers and i need to come back farther you know i can just pull what i need out of here if i need more but that's i think that's plenty no problem and these are all labeled here so you shouldn't have a problem with them um if i wasn't filming I would be able to do this in about 10 minutes because the other one's already on there you can you can go by the wires of that if you wanted to you could just cut these wires up here if you have an old one that quit working and you're replacing it you just cut your wires right up here and just go to color code green green red red whatever that's all you really need to do um, but if you don't just remember you, you got to take your test light and you got to find the wires you know your left right brake light tail light you know um, so there you go that's all you need to do so it's not I mean it's kind of a how-to but it's really really simple once you once you find you know your left turn right turn uh, tail lights and brake lights and then of course you got your ground it's real easy once you find them but if you like i said if you have an old one that stopped working like this one there's nothing wrong with cutting them wires right there and then you you know you have just just match your colors that's all you have to do these things are real simple and as you can see they work fine so there you guys go um I know this works from, I don't know, like 1998 to 
on these Toyotas. Uh, they're all, I think it's a 98 to 2004 or 2006. So, but if you go to partsgeek.com, now they're not sponsoring me. It's just, just I like, I, I dealt with them before because I bought, uh, I bought some scooter parts from them. Always treated me good. This thing came almost a week early. Uh, if you go through partsgeek.com and you order anything like this, they have a list. You check, you click that button that says check your vehicle fit, and it'll give you all the vehicles. That, here's your instructions. Very good instructions. Little picture. It'll give you. Uh, I've never used Hopkins. I've always used Kurt, but uh, they Hopkins had good reviews. Plus, I got three year warranty on it, so. I think I told you three year was uh, three dollars. It was two ninety five for two year, and a three year was three ninety five, so four dollars. I got three year uh, replacement. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty good. But uh, like I said, you when you go to their their website, you you type in what you got two thousand three Toyota Tacoma, and it'll give you a list of all these things that'll fit. And usually what it does is come up in a green thing that says this this part will fit your vehicle. Mm -hmm. But, you know, uh, yeah, just type it in. Just make sure you get the right one, and you should be good to go. Now, here, for this one, here's the part number. If you have a Toyota from, and it fits all different kinds of Toyotas, too. There's the part number. 48925. That's a Hopkins. So there you go, four flat connector. Now if you go to a parts store, like say, let me get you turned around here. Like say, I know I had trouble finding some for my buddy because you tell them you want a converter box, they're trying to say you all different kinds of stuff. And it's like, no, I need it for trailer wires. There's no such thing as a converter box for a trailer wire. Uh, yeah, there is. I know. Trust me. <laughs> and you get an argument, and it's, so the best thing to do is just order that online. Like I said, part, partsgeek.com, man. If you're looking for electrical parts like this, there ain't number one in my book. All right, I'm gonna get off here. It's starting to get hot. The sun moved on me. So I'll chat to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye, bye, guys, and take care.